In this video, we will be looking at Live painting feature by Krita AI Diffusion. It would be great to have an image straight out of the imagination, right? And to do so, I will start with a new canvas. The default size of the canvas is too big for an AI. Processing this many pixels will take lots of graphic memory. Also, the AI models we used are meant to work on image size around 512 pixel to 1024 pixels. I will have a width of 768 and height 512, suitable on most of the computers. We do have an option to upscale the final image later. The server did not start because there is an update available. After update, we need to restart. After restart, the server is still not running. Comfy UI running at the back end needs an update as well. I will be using this test one style, which was created in the older video. For the checkpoint, I will be using Dream Shepa version 8. This lore will not be needed. Style prompt was not added in the older video, but now it is necessary. A few words I will be using frequently are cinematic style photo, then my prompt. And after my prompt, I want it to be like film, photography, and best quality. For negative prompts, I don't want the image to be like a sketch and painting. The AI needs some context for live painting, which can be done by typing a prompt here. And I can't think of any right now. Let me search on the internet. A scenery with some twist is in my mind. Let's see what can I get. I got many prompts here, and this. The first one looks good to me. I will try generating this image with a twist of spaceship approaching. I will paste the prompt here. If you feel like having more space for the prompt box, then go to configuration, then interface, increase the prompt line count. Five lines should be enough. Next. I will select the type of image generation as live. For some reason this line space is not working. It worked after a restart. The prompt says about a cabin and canola field, sky with clouds and hues of sunset. If I start with this prompt, the AI will consider the cabin as well. What I must do is start from the background. And after that, other objects in the image will be added. I will remove the sentence related to the cabin. I will add the cabin after I am done with the background. Whenever I change the AI mode, the prompt box becomes the default. Let's continue. I will look at the code later, and it should be highlighted to the developer. Press the play button to start the live image feature. It consumes a bit of hardware, so when not using this feature, you can pause this. This loading bar will be at the beginning for around 30 seconds. The white section on the right should respond to the paint done on the canvas. I will use the color, a color similar or something that could represent a canola field. I have selected a brush. I did that after the restart for the prompt box. I selected this pencil for soft. I had also increased the size of the brush, kept it around 150 pixels. The canola field should be in the lower section of an image. The image generated on the right side is nothing. I will increase the strength by 80%, then you should be able to see something. So, it looks like a field with yellow flowers. This cube looking icon will generate the image again. I will not click because the one right now looks okay to me. Now for the sky. A light blue color should be able to guide the AI. I gave the prompt and then the respective color on the canvas. This will guide the AI to generate the image I want. To add the sun rays and the golden light. 
I will use a light yellow color in the sky. I will decrease the opacity and make it around 60%. Also decrease the brush size. The sun should be on the right side of the image. Some orange color at the horizon should complete the sun effect. I am fine with the generated image. I will accept this by clicking this check icon. You should also take a look at the generated image. The moment I click this check icon, the image on the right will be loaded on the canvas. You saw whenever I painted the canvas. Image gets processed by the AI based on the changes. I accepted the generated image. Based on the updated canvas, the image on the right was processed again. I will add the cabin in the prompt now, as it was before. And we got the cabin in the new image. The AI was able to identify the place for the cabin, as the sun is on the right. I will select a color for the cabin. I want the cabin properly visible in the frame, with a darker side, because the sun is behind. I tried adding shadows as much as I could. The cabin looks okay to me. I will remove this part, reflection, the warm hues of the sunrise, from the prompt. And I will add, alien spaceship flying in the sky. And we already got alien-like object floating. I will get a spaceship color and try to get an alien spaceship. When working on a smaller area, your entire image gets affected. After few attempts, I decided to try this free selection tool and select the area. After selection, only this part of the image will be generated. I am using the cube icon. As said previously, it generates the image again. After a few attempts, I decided to accept this spaceship. Deselect the selection from the select option on the top. I tried a few more variations to find a better spaceship. I stopped the live image generation and changed the generation model back to normal. The images generated in the live model are quick, but with a low level of details. I will use this image with a low level of detail to generate a similar high quality image. The strength here controls the level of changes that can be done by AI. 100 means AI is free to do the changes. I will keep it to 50, it works most of the time. I got multiple images. This is good, but there is a house in the background. Again, a house. Too many houses. I generated a new batch of image, and I want this image. Let me remove the extra house. I can do that with the help of image blending. In these layers, if you look at the image in the second layer, you will see the field extends to a plane with no object. In the first layer, we can see another cabin, which I don't want. I want the cabin on the left and this spaceship, and remove the cabin from the background. You can drag the layer by holding the right click button and position it correctly. My empty background image is in the second layer, and the unwanted background on the top visible to us. I will right click the first layer, and go to add, then add transparency mask. This mask will use black and white to have the transparency on the first image. Making a section in the first image transparent will let the image behind be visible with a plain background. Black increases the transparency and white decreases it. I will select a gray color or something more towards black. Using a color between white and black will create a soft transparent layer. I just tried covering the image blending topic with this. Disabling the transparent mask shows the changes. Let me know if the video was helpful. What should be next?